there's a website out there called Social Blade that will actually tell you how many subscribers you will have in the future. It's like looking into the future and seeing an older version of yourself who never accomplished everything you said you were gonna do. There's always next year though. If you load up the website and type in your channel's name, it will show you all of your subscribers and all the information. It pretty much shows you your current analytics and subscribers, and hey look, I got graded a B- and ranked 16,000. I have no idea what that even means. And I can tell you right now that I'm not making anywhere near this. YouTube does not pay me that much. But if you go here where it says future projections, it will actually tell you when I hit 100,000 subscribers and ignore all the pop-ups. This website has more pop-ups than the hub, so don't worry about that. But it says that I will hit 100,000 subscribers in 10 freaking years. That's right. In a whole decade, I will reach 100,000 subscribers. So guys, do me a favor. Please subscribe if you haven't. It will really help this channel out. It will help me grow faster. And I want to beat this projection because I'm going to be in my 40s pretty much when I reach 100,000 subscribers. I don't want to do that, guys. Please. Thank you. And in breaking news, I have made a second channel. Yeah, yeah, I know. Very original, guys. So hold your applauses. Hold your applauses. The channel is called Sunflower Samurai. Samurai was taken a million times, so I had to put like a ton of eyes at the end. So now I'm getting in touch with my Hispanic roots, so Samurai it is. On this new channel, I'll be doing a bunch of other games, random videos, the occasional vlogs, pretty much just an assortment of random And on Sunflower Samu, I'm gonna keep all the GTA stuff so it stays all nice and organized. Very easy stuff, boys and girls. Well, mostly the men, because that's who's actually watching my stuff. So come on, girls, step it up. Let's give me some subs. And in other news, there was a lot of rumors that GTA 6 might have been postponed till 2026, so Rockstar released this announcement earlier last week. Take-Two Interactive is doubling down Grand Theft Auto 6 release date, saying that the long-awaited sequel will be out in the fall of 2025 despite rumors of a possible delay into 2026. Take-Two announced that GTA 6 updated release window in its latest earnings report, saying that the current outlook is based on the new date. Uh, unfortunately for PC users like me, there's some bad news. For now, we know that Grand Theft Auto 6 will be released on PS5 and Xbox series. A PC version will not be available at release. Hopefully, PC players won't have to wait too long to play it. That's damn right. Hopefully, we don't have to wait another four years to play this freaking game. But let's be honest, how many of our PCs are going to explode trying to play a game of this magnitude? Maybe that's what Rockstar and Take-Two is trying to avoid. People do play GTA for decades, and it seems now modern AAA games have the shelf life of a carton of milk. These games keep getting pumped and dumped like they have daddy issues. Seriously, how many of these AAA games have come and gone these last few years? Games that would have lasted years and years, maybe back in 2010, like Battlefield 2042. There was probably just a handful of people playing that a month after its launch. This game really lost half of its player base after launch, and it just never gained traction again. And it cost $2 billion to make. That's right, $2 billion. And then you had Suicide Squad, a game that was so bad, it actually made people want to commit suicide. And you had Skull and Bones that came and went like a fart in the wind. But I say Rockstar just grow some big balls and just release the game the way it is. I'm sure it's already much better than half of these games that come out today. And let's be honest, people are still playing Rockstar games for years and years to come. They don't have to worry about being forgotten into the great ether. And quite honestly, it's not the first time that a AAA studio has released a game that hasn't been completely finished. But it's there. Now that that's over, you okay? This is like my YouTube career right here, just blown into a thousand little pieces. Wake the f up, samurai. Uh, I'm away, Keanu. Shut the hell up. You guys remember how hyped everyone was when Keanu Reeves showed up on the screen in his trailer? Everyone was so excited for this game, and it just like fizzled out. The release of GTA 6 has taken so long that it spawned several memes about other stuff that has happened before we've even had the game. We got GTA 5 in a parallel universe. We got Indian Heads Bula before we got Grand Theft Auto 6. What? What are they wearing? That's actually a pretty cool shirt. I could totally rock that. We got bats using Pokemon moves before GTA 6. We have support for Windows 10 ending before GTA 6. Look guys, if you guys are still using Windows 10, it's time guys. It's time to upgrade. Just let it go. This meme has been around for about a year now, and it's pretty much making a joke at Rockstar and how long it's taken to release this game. So honestly, at this point, just pull the trigger, release the game. I'm sure it's a lot better than half of the crap that's out there today. And if you guys have any suggestions on videos or what games I should play on the second channel, please let me know on the second channel. But I swear, I swear, if you guys say Minecraft one more time, I'm not playing Minecraft. I freaking swear, no Minecraft. And here's a few comments that I've been meaning to get back to playing over a video of Shibi. Shibi really likes this toy because it keeps her busy. 
And because she's blind, I gotta hide treats in here to keep her engaged. She's able to kind of sniff them out and kind of grab these little things, but it does keep her busy for a few minutes. But she's smart as hell, man. This used to keep her busy for like 10 minutes. She's figured this out. This, this, she probably goes through this in like a minute. She loves this, and this is how you keep a blind dog busy for a few minutes. But on a serious note, back to business, boys. Alright, we're kicking things off with this really long-ass comment by an OG fan, Surya. Irony of New Leaf, there are people going crazy serious on gang faction RP, and then there's this guy. Just chillin'. Love it. Bro, don't forget about the revenge for Pepe. Surya, I appreciate your comment and your love and support. Thank you so much. I know that you're an OG because you mentioned Pepe. And for those of you who don't know, Pepe was the first character that I had on New Leaf. So if you haven't seen that series, don't be a punk ass. Go check it out. It's on my channel. I already know this is going to be a banger when you post. I love these videos. Keep going up. Thank you so much. I love when I get these kind of comments when I post the video and you guys comment like a few minutes after you guys watch it. It means you guys have the notifications and you guys check it when I post. That's a freaking cool ass feeling. I'm not going to lie that someone would set up the notifications for stuff that I make. Especially because I don't consider myself to be very entertaining or funny. So when people do let me know that I am, you know, fun to watch, it's kind of really cool feeling. So thank you guys. Best intro ever. I ran back like five times. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Actually, this intro only took me like maybe two minutes to make. I found a couple of videos of um, B-roll footage and I kind of just spliced them together. And it came out really cool. I put a song in the back and yeah, I made it really quickly. It was probably took me like two minutes, so... A lot of people like that intro, and it was like one of the fastest ones that I've ever made, which is kind of funny. Some intros have probably taken me like 10 minutes, and yeah, they just like get no feedback or no rewatch. So it's funny how that usually works. When you hit 10k subs, you should make your own server. Thank you, Germanos, for the comment. I don't think that I'll ever make my own server. It's hard work. I know you guys see the really successful ones, but for every good server, there's probably like 10 or 15 that just fell apart. It's hard work. You got to have a lot of people behind it, and it's not really something that I think that I'll ever do. No, I, I know I'm not going to do it, but thank you for the comment. Had me giggling the whole video. Didn't even realize 60 minutes passed. Thank you so much, Devon. Um, I actually don't really think that I'm a funny guy, or I don't really consider myself to be too entertaining, which was a hard thing when I first started making these videos. So when people leave these type of comments, it does make me smile because... You know, that people find me a little entertaining is pretty cool, to be honest. I really like that feeling, and that's why I keep making these videos. I do have fun making them when I'm playing GTA RP or any other game. I do I have a lot of fun playing. I, I do like making these videos, these edits. And when I see these type of comments, you know, it makes me really happy. I love you guys so much. And yeah, that's it for now. Um, go follow the new channel if you guys want some more stuff. I love you guys. Thank you so much.